Hi friends, this is Ashok Kunpal. Welcome to my channel, Design and Drafting with the Autodesk Inventor. We will continue our Chapter Six, Basics of Drafting, Part Two, in Autodesk Inventor. Previously, we stopped at Baseline Command. Next, we will see Ordinate Dimensioning Command. Here are also two types: Ordinate. and ordinate set these commands also same to access individually or in set same like baseline style click on ordinate command select view here we have to select starting coordinate point right click and continue select first distance right click and continue again left click consecutively select distances here our ordinate dimension style is created you can move the given dimensions now we will see ordinate set here we have to select starting point right click and continue set the zero at the required direction select distances right click and create our ordinate set dimension style is created here also the same you can change the position of dimensions in ordinate set you can access all dimension in single click whereas in ordinate you have to access dimension individually now we will see chain and chain set dimension style the difference is same in chain and chain set you can access dimension individually or in group select chain command select first point and last point right click continue left click and select between distances right click create you can change the position of dimensions next chain set select first and last point right click continue left click select between distances you can change the position of dimensions in a group as per your standards and requirements you can select any dimension style now we will see hole and thread command select hole and thread command select any hole created earlier then it will show its dia and depth here not required to type manually next we will see chamfer command it is similar to hole and thread command 
which is used to show chamfer dimensions select chamfer line and base line here it is showing chamfer dimension and its angle punch command is also used to specify dimension of a created punch bend command is used to show bending line specifications like bend angle and bend radius now we will see text it is used to add any note in drawing sheet here you can see note added on sheet leader text is similar to text the only difference is leader to add specific note next is insert sketch symbol i will explain the symbols which are in a frequent use first is surface texture symbol click on surface texture symbol select surface where you want to put the symbol click and right click and continue from this table select surface type like rough machined or removal of material prohibited now i am adding this symbol for machined surface and its value 6.3 and okay you can move the symbol wherever you want next welding symbol select welding symbol select area click and right click continue from this table select welding symbol line type length of welding and its quantity and space i will keep the fillet weld symbol line type single number of weld 10 length of weld 20 and spacing between two welds is 20 for the time being peripheral welding symbol is not required and okay from this symbol welder can identify the type of welding and its quantity next is datum identifier symbol select symbol select datum surface and add symbol datum symbol is a reference to feature control frame next we will see feature control frame select feature control frame select surface where you want to add i am adding here click and right click and continue from this table select symbol here 
I am selecting perpendicularity symbol tolerance 0.1 mm datum A and OK with the help of feature control frame you can identify the surface is perpendicular to this datum surface with a tolerance 0.1 mm now we will see center line select center line command select two center points where you want to add line right click and create center line is created next is center line bisector select center line bisector command select first and second line here you want to apply this command here you can see center line bisector is created center mark select center mark command select circle here it is created next is centered pattern select centered pattern command select base circle and select pattern of circle right click and create it is created start sketch command this we have already seen in place view tab next we will see part list it is used to show total parts their specifications quantity etc in tabular format technically known as bill of material bomb click on parts list select view i am selecting this view from this window you can select bomb view like structured parts only structured legacy and parts only legacy for now i will select structured and okay you can change format of table by double clicking on table go to column chooser here i am removing description and adding comments property okay and apply i am keeping this table here next is balloon command there are two types balloon and auto balloon in balloon you can add balloon manually in auto balloon you can add balloons to all views automatically here you can see auto balloon setting window select view here you want to add balloons 
capture complete view select placement type like around horizontal and vertical here i am selecting around place balloons around the view and okay set balloons next whole table command it is used to show information about holes selected holes in table format here i will show its example select hole command select view select holes from this view right click and create whole table is created in this table you can see dimension of each hole in x and y direction from reference point a revision command it is used to show revision of any parts and its approval then next revision tag it is used to show or highlight revised part and its revision number if you want to change the revision double click on revision tag and change the revision next we will see a retrieve model annotation it is mostly used to save the time to give dimension manually to all view select this command from this window select view option select view and here you can see all dimension added in a view sometime unnecessary dimensions also added that time click on this option select feature to active and select features of view here you want to add dimensions likewise and okay that is the use of retrieve model annotation options next is arrange dimension command it is used to set given dimension in proper way how i will show select this command select dimensions which already given right click and okay dimensions arranged in proper way also you can move dimensions with the help of this video you can do drafting of your design by applying all commands thank you for watching this video if you find this video useful then please like share and subscribe and don't miss to hit the bell icon to get notification for new uploaded videos Thank you. Bye.